All right, Nabiha. Hi, good evening. Okay. Um, so the title for this project is Kit Bus Tracker, a school okay. transportation tracking system. So I will give you a bit of a background on this project. So every day in Malaysia, roughly 5 million Malaysian children go to school. Right. And roughly 40% of the children use school public transportation such as buses and school vans as their main mode of transportation to school. Okay. With this comes the risk of accidents and also incidents such as kidnapping attempts which causes parents to worry about the safety of their children's family. Okay. And also looking back to my own survey of which eight parents I surveyed agreed that it would be nice to have a platform in which they can monitor their children's homes. Right. So for this project, uh, yes, so this me. is the hardware part that I have here. Okay. Uh, in real life, this will be mounted on a bus. Okay. So, when so which one will be mounted on the bus? This, the hardware here. Will be okay. mounted on the bus. So when a child um, gets on the bus, the child will tap their ID okay. card, and this hardware will report the data okay. of the RFID number and also right. a GPS coordinate, which it is taking from uh, the satellite every second. Okay. So this is an example of it working. This is the data being collected. Okay. And the data will be stored in a log. So for this project, I stored the log in a directory in my computer. So um, you can see the data here. Mm -hmm. So now it's 3.40 p.m. So this GPS has been running for quite a while. Okay. So it will appear at the end of the yeah. file, right? At the end of the file. <laughs> So now it's 3.40, so you can see 3.40, we're collecting the data and okay. uh, before this, the tags that we made, it's all also recorded in the data log. So what is the use of this data log? Uh, the system clean the noise out of this data log and okay. make... Hold on, sorry. So yes. this, all these entries uh, yes. are by seconds. 21, 23, 40, 21 yes. seconds, 3, uh, Yes. Okay, all right. Okay. So, what parents can do is, parents are not going to look at the data log. They're going mm -hmm. to the website, they're going okay. to log in, okay. and from the website, they can use the site location tracker to track mm -hmm. your children's movement okay. on a vehicle. So, let's say currently I have a child that is on, on a journey back home from school. It will okay. appear on the map. Okay. So, right now... Okay. This is our current location, we're in Chinese It is Hall. where it is. Yeah. And it's not going to show movement because we're static here, but I will okay. just show you the, the movement. I will show you what happened if you get a new um, data line. So, here is some random data that I okay. collected while I was driving around the other day doing some field testing, and we're just going to like randomly pick okay. a coordinate from from this file and put it into the log that was being made by our system. Okay. So let's enter that. I'm just going to see that. And if the parent hits refresh, it will show okay. that the location has changed. So if you see where it changed, we're all now there. Okay, so, currently, so, that's how it works. All right, so currently the parents have to refresh the GPS, uh, the, the page in order to know the current location yes. of the child, right? Yes, but also the system will do an automatic refresh every um, 25 seconds or every 10 seconds. But okay. for the purpose of this project, we are not going to do that because we are using the free Google API, okay. which comes with a limited number of requests every day. Right. So just for SEDEX, we're not going to do that. I'm afraid I'll run out of requests in the middle of the presentation okay. and it doesn't work anymore. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, alright. Okay. Cool. And so what I'm currently working on to improve the system further is to make, sorry, to make these parts here dynamic. So if I have two children and my children tag the, GP, the tag once, mm -hmm. it's supposed to show that my child is on route or okay. my child is on the way. Okay. If my child tags twice, it's supposed to show that the child has alighted. So okay. what we're doing is we're creating an algorithm mm -hmm. that puts every odd number as on board or, or on route and okay. all even numbers as all even number of taps as um 
a light at the vehicle. And also, realistically, there's not going to be one trip, right? There will be yeah. lots of trips. Yes. So it will be good. It will be useful for us to be able to store that into a database, mm -hmm. which the parents can later use to um, to just go over. Maybe there are some valuable data that we can analyze from the previous right. journeys. Right. So it's just a model here. It's not okay. working yet okay. in this on this page, but the parents should be able to use the the previous data. Mm -hmm. and see the recent trip so so for example uh, last week my child was this bus today my child's going this bus so this is the beginning point from under you to the ending point as okay. history in Skanda okay. how long it took it would okay. be useful for that okay is the uh, alighted means boarding or disembarking alighted means embark disembark huh? disembark disembark yes so going in, I mean boarding is. It's on route. The yellow one is like, oh, you're on, and the blue on one route. is like, okay, okay, done. Okay. okay, so how this may benefit schools and parents in a way is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so a uh, school may offer the system okay. as right. a service to parents. Okay. So the school may have its own school public transportation, right. and it may use this as a way, as a platform parents to monitor okay. the children's okay. commute to school for okay. them to feel safer and have a way of estimating when the children will come home mm. from school. So it should be affordable. Okay. okay. So for that I've done a rough estimation of how much okay. how much this, show that. this system will cost. So in the beginning there are two types of costs. In the beginning there is a cost for getting started, a registration cost. All right. So I prorated that to um, a minibus. Okay. So whatever cost it is, it's divided by 22, which is the okay. capacity for a minibus. For, for one passenger, is it? For one passenger. Right. So there's the hardware cost, there's the labor cost, there's the overhead cost. And that will amount to roughly 45 ringgit give and take. Mm -hmm. And also uh, there is an estimated monthly commitment of how much um, parents would have to fork out each month just right. like a phone subscription so yeah. they'll roughly total to 9 again 20 cents a month okay. so okay. less than 10 ringgit, I get it's better for okay. okay so altogether it is 9, nine, dollars, nine ringgit 20 cents per month yes ignore that I just got okay. an extra zero here okay. so yes this is a lot of posting it's quite a good lot posting for 300 ringgit right. and if you're only hosting 100 people it's 3 ringgit per person but if right. you're hosting a lot more than right. it'll be cheaper so if it is uh, for a specific school, yes. then that amount can be put as part of the uh, monthly uh, registr uh, for month registration for for monthly uh, payment to the schools, right? You can count it annually. It's not going to total more than twenty Okay. 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 I do have some comments though with regards to um, the status, right? Uh, Will it be better if you put on board rather than on route? Rather, because um, yep, sure. just to make it, uh, I mean, if you are uh -huh. on board, you did you on board or you disembark? Yeah. Right. You are alighted or you are on board, yeah. for example, right? So uh, for the sake of understandability, I think sure. uh, that could be changed. Right, and also the the previous the previous speech. Can you go to the previous speech where you have that? Uh, Child located tracker. Okay, so if uh, for the first time that the school children tag, which is basically an even number, odd number, uh, odd number, sorry, yes. so odd number, so it's going to be a lighter, correct? No, it's going to be yellow, it's going to be your on board. On board. Oh, yeah, sorry, it's going to be on board, yes. correct? So per day, per, there will be only two tag in, right? Yes, uh, go two ahead. sets. Two sets, or maybe but four, perhaps. That will be a two different trips. So that that's oh, what I was trips. trying to address. You know, we should somehow report the previous okay. trips in a database so we can view it. Okay. So this one is dynamic, yes. But does it go into the database? Uh, no. So far, not yet. Okay. That that, that explains it. Because I think that for a particular children per day, for a particular school kid, mm -hmm. uh, there will be four records because yes. going in, uh, yes. alighted, going, going to school. Come back from uh, that's one going going into the van one going out of the van fr from the uh, that's another uh, and then that is uh, huh. you're from it's from the morning home journey. morning journey 
go in and goes out. And then from school, go in, goes out, back home. So it's basically four taps. Four taps, correct? So that should be two different this one, yes. So that one was the, the history, the yes. previous. This one is today. Today. Today, right? Yes. Okay, so this one, alright, alright, okay.